This is Fuelbu. Did you know that there's a trail center being developed in Fuelbu? Well, it looks like there is. With a lot of forest and a few meters of elevation, this place serves as an awesome spot for mountain biking. I couldn't find much information on who actually built these trails, but they are supported by MTB Skjone and Friluftsfremjandet Sjöbo seems to have a lot of activities there. Here you'll find four different trails in a skill area. One longer red XC loop and three blue and green trails. With a nearby campsite and close vicinity to the town of Sjöbo, these trails have a lot of potential to be a great MTB destination. Riders, welcome! Welcome to another video. My name is Michael from Mike's Bike Rides and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Because I am! Uh, today we are out in Sjöbo and uh, this is another iteration of Tour de Skjone. You'll have to excuse me as I'm setting up my bike as I speak. In the last, in the last couple of years, uh, Skåns Kemtebeutvikling and Friluftsfremjandet here in Sjöbo has been... Uh, forgive me if I'm missing out on crediting some people, but yeah. Uh, they have been out here and building these trails and making them come true in, a, in an area that is used a lot by campers and hikers and, and other nature, nature enjoyers. Nature enjoyers? Yeah, so the trails out here are uh, four in numbers. There are three blue shorter trails, which are kind of flowy. There's a green skills area for uh, young people and old people alike to uh, just enjoy. And then there's a uh, 10 kilometer long red uh, graded loop, uh, which we're going to try out first. And then we'll check out the, uh, the blue ones and the green one. So this trail system has really be become a thing in the last year or so. Uh, I haven't been here in yeah since last summer, so it's going to be exciting to see what they have done with it, if it's uh, overgrown or if it's uh, well kept. We shall see. And I shall not be able to breathe today, as usual. I'm wearing this and then the water backpack on top. <laughs> Look at this contraption. Yeah, everything for a good video and good sound. So uh, yeah, there's not much more to it than to uh, get going on the red loop. And uh, I'll see you on the trail. Yeah, there's actually very nice camping just down there. Looks very cozy. Here's the start of blue one and transport to the second and third blue trail and transport to the red trail. I remember this as being quite flowy. Yeah, it's not completely overgrown uh, or yes it kind of is. <laughs> It's been cut in some places, but I think it's been a while. Oh yeah, should have turned left there. Okay, so I totally missed the exit to the uh, red trail, which we're gonna actually go on first. So it's right here, there's the exit, and here's the entrance of the red trail. Let's see if I remember this. It's been a year since I rode it. It was so new last year. Oh, I got a big branch. So this is supposed to be a red trail then. Uh, so we should expect to have to walk 4% of the trail if we're not experienced riders. This trail runs right alongside the uh, big road out there. Uh, becomes pretty 
XC in the beginning. Uh, a little bit more tricky on the outer skirts of the trail. And then on the way back, it goes over sort of the same terrain as here. Well, signposted as always with MTB Skjone. This actually is well cut, groomed. That's good. So I remember this part as being just, just grass, just cut grass last time. So a lot has changed. Oh, <laughs> bumpy. Oh. Yeah, this trail has some very nice nature, but uh, it's also overshadowed by the road noises, like 25 meters to the side of me. So the serenity of the woods is a little bit uh, compromised. Still kind of soft here, this bit of trail. Another one. Fun. Yeah. Oh, I branch sticking out. We should be getting close to the turning point where we start turning back soon. And then there's going to be a little bit more advanced trail features, like uh, you no know, off camber. It's a big thing out here. Whew. So I think this is where it starts getting a little enduro-y. I don't remember it looking like this, but... This is really off camber. I hope that came across in the video. Oh yeah. Oh, that was tricky. Huh. Ah, that was a branch. Very front wheel heavy there. And then there's a long climb up. Oh, 
Artorias fixation. There you go. I contributed. Woo! Yeah. Oh, steep. Not too bad. Oh. Oh, it's so soft. Oh man. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was not ready for that move. Whew. What the hell was that? Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, parking lot is right there. Oh, what a perfect day. Nice bit of lunch break in the car. Time to go again. Okay, so we're gonna check out all the blue trails and also the green trail. I don't know if I will check out all the blue trails because one blue trail is really uh, new. So we'll just get a little taste of that one but this one is fun same start as last time we'll continue on this trail later we're gonna jump under the road here And according to the app, there should be a blue trail to the left here. And then I know there's a blue trail to the right. So we're going to check out the one I know first. And wouldn't you know it, this city actually has a ski hill, a ski slope. <laughs> it's actually pretty high. I mean, they have an anchor lift and everything. It's uh, rusty and old, but still, there's an anchor lift. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Imagine all this having like a big flow trail with jumps all the way down. I mean, uh, the traffic this place would see. The uh, tourists that would come to bike here. I don't know about you guys, but I think it would be very popular. Ah, this is actually a green trail, so there are two green trails. It's marked blue on the map. Oh yeah, there's a green one and then there you can go on a bigger blue loop. Now I see... But you know, I want to show you these things. If more people ride here, more people come out with their families here. Maybe the more enthusiasts there will be keeping up the trails. Okay, here's the blue rating. Let's get some roots and some climbing bits. And I'm in a way too heavy gear for this. Oh. And here we continue on the green. Yeah, cool. Okay, so it does seem like these, uh, this other blue trail is not finished yet. It's supposed to be 10 kilometers of blue trail, but it's just three for now and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna bother. But you can see on this trail map that there is a lot happening here. We're about to drop into blue one. 
from the top just to do it Oh, you need to cut this. Can't go fast. Ah! And down. Whew. All right, this. Oh. <laughs> Scary. So as we're coming up this hill, we uh, will come across the green kids trail or the uh, practice technique trail. So we're gonna make a detour right there. We have a blue drop line, another blue drop line, a red drop line, an even redder drop line. And then this, I don't know if my handlebars go through it. <laughs> yeah. Almost not. Oh. There's that rock lip. God, you guys, what a day. <laughs> it's been, I think I've been doing almost five hours of riding and filming and everything. <laughs> that does take a toll on the body. Oh, guys, we can cross off another trail on the trail map. How good. Where do you want to see me go next? Leave a comment down below and tell me. This trail system right here is so nice. I really like it. And if I would rate it, it's... Yeah, it's right up there. It's it's uh, along uh, up there with the Beatles. Solid eight. <laughs> I really love what they're doing here. I want them to keep doing that. It's a real little trail center. Um, yeah, if they could turn the ski slope into a downhill uh, flow flow line, that would be aces. But um, yeah, maybe later. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and be sure to come back next week for another trail or another video. Yeah, just anything. Ah, I'm rambling on. This has been Michael from Mike's Bike Rides. Bye for now.